So here we are. We're going to talk about the vestibular system. It's a great system. Uh, the vestibular system is present in all organisms. It's even present in plants. Uh, well, not the vestibular system, but a system that will detect uh, gravity. Uh, and so the vestibular system of animals is, is built around the need to detect gravity. And this need was present even in the aquatic environment. So fish, they, they swim in a particular way with respect to gravity. Most fish swim this way, some rays and skates swim this way, but whatever it is, they keep that uh, relationship to gravity. Um, we keep our relationship to gravity so that the horizon, what we view from our eyes, is horizontal. So the horizon is, uh, is a, one of the consequences, one of the things that we do with this vestibular information. Uh, and in fact, if, if something's wrong with your vestibular sense, if you're on your side, well, you're sick. How do you know if an if a animal is dead or sick? If you see a fish and it's on its side, it's, it's either ill or dead. So um, the, the, the writing reflex, the reflex to be in a particular relationship with respect to gravity is one of the, it's the, it's a very deep reflex. It is gonna be present um, unless you're on the way out. The vestibular system is, as I, as I mentioned earlier, as with the somatosensory system, maybe even more so, it is completely a slave to the motor system. And it, in the vestibular system's case, it is such a slave to the motor system that, in fact, we don't really have a sensory experience of our vestibular sense. So in other words, I'm not sitting here thinking, oh, I'm upright, I'm upright, I'm upright. With the somatosensory system, I may put on a shirt and feel that shirt for a moment in time, and then I never feel it again for the rest of the day because I adapt to it. When I get up, I don't even have that momentary situ uh, perception, oh, I'm upright, or oh, I'm tilted to the side. So we really don't have a perceptual experience of the vestibular system until something goes wrong. When something goes wrong, we have, we, what is revealed is, a, um, is essentially a dysesthesia of the vestibular system. You're, you, you get this positive sign where you're very disturbed by not getting the correct input. And so the types of, uh, of problems that we, we get with the vestibular system are vertigo, a sense of spinning, disequilibrium, a sense of uh, uh, not being in balance. Uh, to describe our, our sensory experience of the vestibular system going wrong, we say, oh, I'm not in balance. I feel off balance. I, I, I can't get my equilibrium. And the words that we use are essentially motor words. So balance is, is a motor thing. That is something that you do. And it, it, indeed, the point of the vestibular system is to guide your movements. And I just want to show you this um, in a couple ways. So this is my friend Peter. He's, he's steeply banking around this curve. His body and the bike are both at a steep bank. But what you see is that his head is upright, right? So his head is upright. He's not trying to do that. He's not thinking about it. He's alive, so his head is upright. That is a vestibular response. You want the horizon to be horizontal. And it is his vestibular system that is guiding this head uh, position. Here's another example where this person is using his vestibular system and indeed also his somatosensory system to guide his movements, all right? And finally, the place, the thing that our, we use our vestibular system to guide most intimately is gaze. This is my cat, Tula, and she's got a gaze. That's an intense gaze. She's looking where she's looking. She will look there, and that will be, she will be able to very tightly control where her gaze looks using her vestibular system. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at how the vestibular system works and we're going to go right into the gaze control system. So we're going to go seamlessly 
from vestibular function to gaze control because they are married. Now, one final thing that I should mention, we talked about the sensory disturbances of, um, uh, of vestibular dysfunction. There are also motor uh, disturbances. And two that I want to mention. One is that if the eyes cannot, uh, are, are not controlled, if the eye position is not controlled, you can have what's called a nystagmus. A nystagmus is an involuntary jerky movement, typically jerky movement of the eyes. We'll look at a few different types of nystagmus and, uh, as we go on a little bit later. Um, the, other, the other one is that the, the vestibular system is used to help can keep the gaze steady. And, it, and what's the point of keeping gaze steady? Well, the point of keeping gaze steady is that you want the visual image to stay steady. You want your, as I move around, I am aware that I am moving and that this room is stationary. But I need my vestibular system to tell me to integrate with the visual input in, that, in order for me to keep my visual image steady. If my eyes are moving around, then my visual image also moves around. And this is akin to, to watching a, a, a video with a handheld camera. You'll see that, that video will pop around. The visual image is not steady. And a person that has that condition where the visual image is, does not stay steady, that is called oscillopsia. The eyes are in constant motion. The visual image is not steady. And that is a very uh, devastating um, condition. I just want to end with the, I, I want to emphasize how important this control of, how incredible and important this control of gaze is. There is no other part of the body that you can control as easily, as, as tightly, actually not easily, as tightly. So for example, if you're walking down the street and you try to write on, on a piece of paper, you cannot hold this hand nor this hand anywhere steady. If you're simply walking on a treadmill and you try to write a note, you will find that you can't do it very well because your body is all in motion. You cannot keep your hand steady. The way you keep your hand steady is by being still. So the, that, this ability to control gaze and we're controlling it within a minute within a, a minute of a, of a degree um, is amazing and it's absolutely necessary. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, talk about the two different types of uh, uh, stimuli that are processed by the vestibular system. <music>